Now let's look at numericals based on these concepts. So show that average revenue is equal to price. Now average revenue price ki equal kaise aata hai? Let's look at the formula for average revenue first. So humne dekha tha ki jo average revenue hota hai. Average revenue ka formula kya tha? TR divided by Q. This was the formula for average revenue. We have seen in this. So average revenue is equal to TR by Q. Right? Now, then we have seen that our total revenue, our total revenue was what? Total revenue is equal to price multiplied by quantity. Right? Now, Substituting total revenue is equal to price into quantity in this, what do we get? So average revenue is equal to P into Q divided by Q. So further simplifying this, what do we get? We get average revenue as that is our price. So our average revenue is equal to price and hence we have proved this. Right. Now coming on to another numerical. Now let's look at another numerical. Complete the following table. So our output is given and there are few entries which are missing. So how are we going to solve this? We are going to solve this using the concepts of total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. So let's start. In first case, our marginal revenue is given as 12. Now we know that the formula for marginal revenue is marginal revenue is equal to total revenue of n units minus total revenue of n minus 1 units. So in this case, our n is equal to 1. So in this case, we have our n 1. Hai. Right? So in this case, what will happen? Total revenue, we will do this over here. So, formula for marginal revenue is total revenue of n units minus total revenue of n minus 1 units. Now, in our first case, n kya hai? 1 hai. Kyunki 1 unit hi output ka sell kar raha hai, producer. To is case mein, humara marginal revenue kaise hoga? This will be equal to total revenue So, in this case, our marginal revenue for first unit will be equal to TR1. That is, because total revenue of 0 units is 0. So, this 0 will be 0. And marginal revenue will be equal to total revenue in this case. So, first unit, ke liye marginal revenue or total revenue is same. So, this is why marginal revenue is given hai 12. The total revenue be 12 aega. Right. Now, coming on to price. Ab price calculate karna hai. And humare paas total revenue diya hai. So now, total revenue ka kya formula tha? Total revenue is equal to price multiplied by quantity. To is case mein, humara total revenue kya hai? So total revenue is 12, right? So total revenue 12 hai. P find karna hai. And what is our quantity? Our Q is equal to 1 in this case. That is our output. So what is going to be our price? Our price will be equal to 12. 
right? So our price in our first case would be equal to 12. So ye bhi 12 ho gaya. Now, ye blanks to fill ho gaya, right? This is 12. And ye bhi 12 hai. Ab, next hai, two units of output ka produce karta hai, the price hai 10. Total revenue kaise nikalenge? Again, using the same formula for total revenue, that is price into quantity. So, total revenue ka again, why formula hum use karenge? That is total revenue is equal to price into quantity. Theek hai? So, price hamara is case mein kya hai? In this case, our price is equal to so, price is 10 and output hai 2. So, total revenue kya hoga? Price into quantity that is price is 10, quantity is 2. So, our total revenue second case mein kya ho jayega? Our total revenue will be equal to 10 into 2 that is equal to 20. So, total revenue will be equal to 20 in this case. Now, coming on to marginal revenue. Now, marginal revenue kya rahega? Marginal revenue ka formula hum sabko pata hai that marginal revenue is equal to TRN minus TR of N minus 1. Right? So, this is our formula for marginal revenue. Now, what do we have So, total revenue of second unit of output is 20 and total revenue of first unit of output is 12. So, our marginal revenue in this case will be equal to that is TR2 minus TR1. So, in this case, our marginal revenue will be equal to 20 minus 12, that is equal to 8. So, 20 minus 12 will be equal to 8. So, this case may have our marginal revenue either 8. Now, coming on to next. In this case, we have output as 3, price is not given and total revenue is 24. Again using the same formula for total revenue. So, in this case, total revenue is again equal to P into Q. Now, what is our Q? Q is 3, P is not given and we have total revenue as 24. So, Q is equal to 3 and Total revenue is equal to 24. So, hamara formula kaise banega? Therefore, 24, that is our total revenue. Substituting this values in this formula, what do we get? 24 is equal to, price is not given, quantity is 3, so price will be equal to, 24 by 3 that is equal to 8. So, we got a price as 8. Now, again we need to find the marginal revenue, right? So, marginal revenue kya hai is case mein? So, now our total revenue of for 3 units of output our total revenue is 24. And for two units of output, our total revenue is 20. So, in this case, our marginal revenue will be equal to what? Using this formula. So, total revenue of three units of output is 24.
and total revenue of two units of output is 20. So this will be equal to 4. So in this case, our marginal revenue will be equal to 4. Now, coming on to next case. In this case, our output is given as 4 and our marginal revenue is given as 0. So using this, we'll first find our total revenue. So, in this case, our marginal revenue is equal to 0, right? And our quantity is given as 4. Now, so, again using the same formula for marginal revenue, that marginal revenue is equal to total revenue of n units minus total revenue of n minus 1 units. So, in this case, we will take total revenue of 4 units minus total unit revenue of 3 units of output, right? And marginal revenue, what is given us? 0. Now, Total revenue of 4 units of output, we need to find this and total revenue of 3 units of output is given as 24. So this is 24 and this is total revenue of 4 units of output. So this will be equal to twenty four. So, this will be equal to 24. Now, coming on to price. Using the formula of total revenue, we will find the price. So, total revenue ka kya formula hai? Now, total revenue is equal to price into quantity. Now, our quantity Q is given as 4 and our total revenue is given as 24. So, what is going to be our price? Our price is going to be 24. Substituting these values in this formula, what do we get? 24 is equal to price into quantity quantity is 4 and therefore price will be equal to 24 by 4 that is equal to 6 so the price in this case will be equal to 6 so we have seen how easily we can calculate such complicated numericals with help of uh, the concepts of total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue.